Welcome back to another MJ TV. And yes, we are still in LaPorte, Indiana. Nice little old downtown here. And this place that we went to, the Coachman's Antique Mall. This place was freaking awesome. As you can see the front of it. And then we have the side of it. It was pretty big. Not only did it have a big area like this, it also had three floors. But yeah, as soon as we come in the door, I noticed this old uh, stereo stuff right here. Rousey, of course, looking for some salt and pepper shakers. Uh, had all kinds of different things here. Records. Yes, the there was records, tapes, CDs, uh, eight tracks, everything right here that you could imagine. And I liked it because they put like pop. They, they, they section it off. Country. Uh, they even had the uh, eight tracks course down right there, but they also put uh, soundtracks as you can see right there. But guess what? There was no metal. But anyway, I still looked through some of the stuff. A few records here. Um, nothing I was really interested in. But um, as I got further and deeper into this place, I found a lot more vinyl that was pretty cool, but kind of a little high. Uh, had some coke stuff of course uh you always go to antique stores always find coke and you always find some vhs uh, nothing uh, that i would want but I, there's the upstairs that's the loft that's more furniture and stuff we didn't go down there um but check this game out right here or go up there i should say that's <laughs> easy money right there yeah and a Marilyn moreau uh puzzle there but yeah, they just had a little bit of everything in this place. Uh, Knickknacks and stuff. It, the normal stuff that you always find in antique stores. But downstairs is where it's at. Yeah, and we'll go to that here in a few minutes. Don't want to get you too excited yet. But yeah, there was quite a bit of furniture and stuff in this place. But there is the downstairs area. And without further ado, let's just go downstairs. Because I have to show you. The bottom part of this place was unbelievably awesome <laughs> as you can see right here all this stuff down here was like this it was just crammed in there so much to look at here's some simpson stuff right here i mean they had this one vendor had a it was almost like a maze that you would walk through as you can see around the corner there's more stuff and then you go around another corner and then look i mean there's little holes that you have to you, you can barely fit in some of them I mean, it was unbelievable how much stuff that they crammed in this place. But they crammed in some really cool stuff. That's what's uh, cool. You know, some vintage stuff. Um, and some newer things that was still here and there. But yeah, this is back in a little hole. I could barely fit my big ass in. <laughs> but, um, I mean, there was just so much to look at. We, had, we were pressed for time when we were here. We didn't get about 40 minutes, but we had to go to a birthday party, and then we had to do Christmas and stuff with the grandbabies. But man, if I ever get a chance to go back here, I definitely want to go back. There's the Taco Bell dog. Uh, and spend probably two or three hours in this place. I mean, there's so much downstairs. There's me some pants. What you think about them? Uh, there's a Super Nintendo still in the box and some games. But, I mean... They had everything. There's a Chucky mask in there. And, of course, some uh, little disco ball light and lava lamps and just a little bit of everything. Funky lamps and stuff, but uh, a lot of Halloween stuff out. This was still cool right here to see that stuff. And, look, these monsters, these figures were cool, but they were like $45 a piece. Too expensive for my blood. I, I just couldn't see that. Of course, there are some glasses and stuff that we collect and everything. But we just, I was just, I didn't know what to look at. I mean, look, you can go back through here and there's another little cubby hole and there's another hole right here. There was just so much stuff to look at in this place. I couldn't really pinpoint something and just sit there and try to look through. And there's some more Taco Bell dogs and some Cabbage Patch. The girl stuff, boy stuff. I don't know if it was the same vendor, but it was really hard to keep up with. I mean, there was just so much stuff. There's some Raggedy Ann stuff. and I mean, girl stuff, vinyls, uh, vinyl to toys and stuff, and just a little bit of everything. I mean, I, I, it, it's really hard to put it 
just looking at it this way is something else. But being there and trying to squeeze through here and see all this stuff, really, really wild. There's a uh, Elizabeth car. We zoom right in on that. Uh, turn around on the other side. Look at all these games and stuff. I mean, like I said, I, I just you can't you you can't describe it by just the video here. You had to be there. And man, there is just so much stuff there. And as you turn the corner here, I mean, you can see you come up through this way and you would have to turn another corner and there's some stuff down there, but you turn this corner and it goes back over this way. I mean, of course, there's Scooby-Doo stuff galore. You know, I love Scooby-Doo stuff. They even had the house. I mean, I just didn't have enough time to really get in depth and look at this stuff and it, some of it i don't even remember what the price was i just glanced through it went through it i mean this this video is 15 minutes long i was only in the store for about 35 minutes so most of it i was filming looking through the lens i just had to get everything in this video or try to to show off because they had so much stuff here but yeah there's just really cool stuff down through here and of course they had the girls stuff you have to look at the pink stuff and stuff for the girls but and there's another little hole i mean it's like screw toys or us this place was something else <laughs> i mean whoo and rousey even said it said do not uh what's it do not enter parents or whatever but yeah there was no kids down there it was me and rousey we got here when the place first opened i couldn't even fit through that one if you can look at it right there, more Halloween stuff. There's some DVDs and stuff. I went through a little bit of them. I know it's Friday 13th part three, you know, saw movies. Um, this look interesting <laughs> freak show cinema. I don't know, but of course a lot of more uh, Halloween stuff here. This was really cool. T uh, Tales from the Crypt Creep Keeper. It was like a door knocker thing, but it was very expensive. I think it was like 125. Rousey said, well, it's like 30% off, but still yet it was 125. I mean, <laughs> there's some more electronics and stuff. Uh, here's some more vinyl. This is still downstairs now. Uh, of course, this must be a different vendor, but we looked through, you know, some tapes and stuff. Really didn't find anything that tickled my pickle, but, um, you know, there's some 45s. I thought that was pretty cool to check some of them out. Look through a little bit more vinyl here, but I just didn't didn't see nothing I really would like except for you know coming up here in a little bit I'll show you one vendor that did have some cool stuff. I did find some more blanks here, uh, ninety nine cents. But man, I've got like seven or eight blanks right now. Cool old headset. She found blow up your video, which I think I already have. I, I passed on it. Uh, damn right, I got the blues blues uh, uh, buddy guy. <laughs> CD, uh, old stereo here. This is really cool. I mean, if this place was near where I live, I would be in there every payday. I would want to go every payday and I would be broke. Look at this. Uh, Rousey was looking at this lane. You know, you could barely fit. Let, let's see. I couldn't fit through there. She fit through there to look at some stuff. Here's some more girl stuff. All this pink and purple and all that goodness. Have to show that off for the ladies or the the little girls that uh, enjoy the little girl stuff. <laughs> it's more cassettes and stuff. Uh, didn't really see nothing there. And we're going to go inside the little. And, and this even had a little inside place that you could go for the girl stuff. And um, Barbies and just dolls and everything in between. I mean... I'm, I barely looked upstairs because I was down here most of the time looking at this stuff. Uh, to me, this is like one of the best antique stores I've ever been in. You know, not always the price, cause, but then there's some of them I don't even know the price because I didn't stay long enough because, like I said, we had some stuff we had to go attend to. But, man, uh, I go back up there, uh, maybe summertime, we're going to have to go and hit this place up and check it out and there's some michael jordan card right there <sighs> and this is still downstairs this is on the other side now this is more spaced out you know than that other side of it because that other side is just so cram packed but um you know they had a little mixture of everything over here it must be in different vendors and stuff but um 
Yeah, that one side is just so crammed, but I like it that way. I like looking at stuff that way. You know, look at all this Christmas stuff. I mean, there was tons of that out too, and Halloween stuff, uh, some die cast cars right here, uh, just everything. Now, here's some more records. We're going to look through a little bit of that and, and show you a few things. I think I, I did see one in here was a fog hat that I thought about getting, but um, the it was just really damaged bad, so I didn't even try to uh, decide to grab it. I think it was like 6 or 7 or $8, or something like that. There it is right there, Fog Hat. Uh, but once I pulled it out after I stopped the video right here, it was a very, very bad damage, so I, I passed on it. Here's some beer signs. There you go, Ace. I know if you're watching, <laughs> you like that stuff. Um, and there's Rousey looking around. I mean, she was amazed too by this place. We just could not believe how much stuff they had in this place. There's another hallway. This is still downstairs now. This is on the other side of where all that toy stuff was. But, um, yeah, out of all the ones we've ever been to, this has been the best looking and the most stuff. And it would take you quite a bit of time to really look at this stuff if you really want to look at it. Um, there's an Elvis doll there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we got in there as soon as they opened up. Within 20 or 30 minutes, we were there. This place had about 40 people coming through the door within the first yeah, hour. It's crazy. There's a little taxi. I had a little fire truck or one like that, pedal car, when I was young, so I had to show that off. But yeah, this place filled up very quick. And I wonder why, because they have so much cool stuff here. And like I said, we didn't even go up to the upstairs, which I think most of it was furniture. There's Dennis Robin. And this is a cool, I think this is a puzzle. Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. That was really cool too. But, uh, and then there's some other little toys and stuff over here. You know, just little books and stuff. I actually have this one, but mine's in better shape. The Haunted House book. And a few other, um, uh, Flintstones. There we go. Yeah, I knew this was in here somewhere from the movie. That's pretty cool. I don't remember ever getting this, but look at this. Now, here's where the vinyl was, but it was a little pricey, of course. And the stuff that I like is pricey. You know, the Stray Cats, yeah, right there. ACDC, Alice Cooper, Rat, a Kiss, Lick It Up, another Kiss one. I think it was Alive. Uh, they also had some um, uh, Pops, of course. Adam's Family Pops was pretty cool. And a bunch of other ones. I did like that Gremlins one right there. That was really cool. Um, Bob Ross is right beside that. A bunch of Kiss ones up top. They had some really good pop ones. If you collect pops. I got a few, but I don't really get into them too much. I just wanted to show them off. Uh, there, now this one. Twisted Sister, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Two or three times. See that bar that goes across the top? At the end of it, and it's like a drawer, there's a padlock on there. So you could not pull these out, Judas Priest. Uh, these were like some very high vinyl, I guess, because you're going to cover it up like that. There's the Fonz. You definitely, uh, you, you're going to cover it up and have to get somebody to come and unlock it. That means it's expensive. So I didn't even ask about it. There's some cool vintage shirts right there. CDs everywhere. The Munsters, that was another cool little set that I saw. It was over near them other ones. The Exorcist, <laughs> um, sports stuff. I mean, this place is unfreaking believable. Pee Wee Herman, he's like 45 bucks. I don't know if it's really worth that much, but uh, you let me know. He did look pretty clean. He was on a stand and everything. Um, full House dolls, I've never even seen them before. They're not real old. They're they're reproduction Migos. There's some more vintage clothes, but it was all kid size stuff. So uh, didn't really find nothing there. It's going to definitely fit a gangster. But anyway... And just a bunch of more stuff fit in the mix. There's some more 45s, Don Johnson, and a bunch of other things. I always look through them. I remember having a bunch of them when I was a kid. But anyway, if you're ever in this area, check out Coachman Antiques, uh, LaPorte, Indiana.